you know, as a musician, the way that I interface with people, interact with people, is in the nonverbal realm. For me, it, it ends up being a kind of an intention. My intention is, what do you stand for? What is it you, what is your purpose? What do you want to do in this world? And how do you want to communicate with what you do? And specifically with me, it's, it's through music and vibration. If I'm on stage just playing with a, a songwriter and I have an intention of like harmony and balance and bringing some kind of positivity, some kind of a change, but your intention is, is part of the journey. I first discovered the hand pan I think it was about 12 years ago. It's such a beautiful sounding instrument that the process of making it, you know, it's like, what, a few hundred thousand hammerings on it and fire and things melting. But the end result is, is something of true beauty. I met this amazing person named Mark Garner. And he's telling me about Suraz, his handpan company, and then he brought some into the studio. And it was really that, that moment that really changed my life. Because with a handpan, you can't hit it or bang it or strike it. You have to pull the sound out of it. But it does kind of open you up to this other dimension, this kind of, this other universe. What is so powerful about it it's a, it's a percussive instrument and also has a melodic aspect to it. We're all vibrating at, at different rates. You know, we have a circulatory system, or you have a respiratory system, the lymphatic system, and all your systems kind of go at different vibrations and different frequencies. If they're all like, feel like they're in the same frequency, then you go into the zone, to that kind of transcendent place. Hand pan kind of brings you to that place immediately. So if it's a really well-balanced hand pan, I believe that it creates balance within a person's system. sits in their lap and therefore they're not just hearing the vibrations, they're feeling the vibrations in their body. Really what it does is really put them in a trance place also. And to go into a trance induced place, it's kind of like the ultimate place to be because you start to dissociate from the regular world and, and it puts you in the zone. And I think that's one of the powers of the handpan. just love getting on it and just wanting to touch it and feel it, and whether it's seven-year-olds or 87-year-olds. People are always like, what's that instrument you play? I am a multi-percussionist. I'm also a composer, I'm an educator, and uh, I'm an art instigator. I love to inspire people to create new things. I went to a conservatory myself and I loved it, but it's kind of limited to that, to that kind of like, you know, view of how music should be. When you do something like a sound meditation or a sound bath or what I call them a sound immersion sometimes, when you do that with somebody else, specifically with a simple instrument, they hear all the harmonics and they hear the multi-dimensional world that's happening within that instrument. As an educator, I use all kinds of percussion instruments to kind of transfer the information of rhythm in the world through my organization, Asheville Rhythm, which is based here in Asheville, but we do recordings, once again, concerts, events, retreats, sound meditations. I have my own group here for the last 20 years called Free Planet Radio, and we're kind of a global fusion mix. Is the music and kind of which is I am. I'm a triple immigrant, so I just study something that I like, and then I use it into my own music. And all the most powerful events of a, hu a human's life, there's usually sound associated with it. Thank you.